Well, fellas, um, y'all don't follow this show, but I do. It's, it's the best medical show going, and it's The Resident. It came on last night, and this young lady right here was the main character in the show. She was actually a congressman in Georgia. Things went awry, and she was running for governor, and she was about to win until she pops up in their ER. With, so that's the same shit. With some kind of disease, Larry, that no one knew what was going on. So hmm. you had you had both of these two doctors trying to figure out what was going on with her. Well, here's the catch to this whole story, and it was so good. She lied and said that she had only been on a small vacation. Hmm. And during the whole the whole TV TV show, they kept panning on her driver who was a big black cut up brother. I mean, man, I mean, my man had muscles in his tongue. He was so defined, cut up. And later on, we come to find out she's married to an ex-football player who's a prominent Atlanta Falcon, but there's no more intimacy. He don't want to mess with her no more. So she needed to get her rocks off. She had went on vacation with her driver. He had something that looked like shingles on him and she had the same thing and was about to die. Mm. These two doctors finally got her to tell the truth and they figured out what her issue was. And it was some kind of a worm you get in your, your private parts. What? When you go, yeah. When you go to the career. Oh, T string. You don't know nothing about that. When you I go to no worms in my private parts, look, man, when, you go to some <laughs> countries, when you go to some countries and the water ain't right, or you get somewhere where the water ain't right. Parasites swim right on up there. Yeah. Then they then they lock out and then you you're, you're fried. Well, that's yeah. what happened to her. They finally got her to come clean, tell the truth, and they was able to save her. And in the end, she decided, you know what? I need to fix my marriage. If I'm going to be the first female governor of Georgia, I got to get things right. So she kicked the old driver to the curb and got a new one that she's completely unattracted to. Then we get into this storyline with um dr aj austin and mina so now they done smashed for seven straight days <laughs> mm -hmm. and they are a thing now mind you she's from africa so she doesn't have this um southern acts this this southern hospitality you know i don't know if you guys have ever been to school with someone who's an immigrant mm -hmm. but when you go to school with someone who's an immigrant they don't joke like we joke they take things way more serious they usually don't have a huge sense of humor because where they come from, you ain't, it ain't nothing to be happy about. Here we joke, we lollygab, blah, blah, blah. So she brings this to the table. So the issue here is they are professional colleagues, both heart surgeons. It's just that she happens to be his understudy. Well, Dr. AJ Austin, I've been telling y'all, is getting into it with Morris Chestnut, who is the most gifted brain surgeon in the world with the most gifted heart surgeon. So, and last week, I told you that because the crooked CEO of the hospital wanted them to get their numbers up with right. elective surgeries, even though they're having COVID, he talked to Morris Chestnut's character and was like, look, bro, I don't care about these COVID people. We bleed in money. You need to get me some patients in here that are in elective service. So, Morris Chestnut lied to a guy, got a patient in there. And what do y'all think happened to the patient? Mm. He got COVID. He got COVID. COVID. He got COVID and it caused a heart issue. So AJ Austin got to work on him. So when they did their homework and found out that Morris Chestnut basically ginned him up, he storms in Morris Chestnut office and like slammed the chair. And I'm like, this is going to be the week they're going to fight. You know they're going to make the brothers fight. They didn't fight. Because Larry, guess what Morris Chestnut said to Dr. A.J. Austin? He said, you done went and got high and mighty on me, my brother. Don't you know that the white people do it? And we got to be twice as good. And you shouldn't be ratting on your brother just because I took a shortcut. And now, <laughs> now A.J. Austin, he's kind of a man of integrity. But at the same time, he's down for his people. Mm. Now, you know what the issue was? When he went and told his girlfriend, Mina, she's mm. like, hell to the no. I don't know nothing about this code because I'm not from America. But mm. what I do know is right is right and wrong is wrong. 
And at the end of that storyline, AJ Austin basically told her, look, I don't want you to tell on him. Now is not the time. What the hell you think she did, Larry? Dimed him out. She dimed him out. AJ Austin was mad at her. He was like, because me and you have had sex six days in a row, my back is worn out and uh, we need some time apart because I told you not to go and do this to Dr. Kane, which is Morris Chestnut. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I guess they'll finish that storyline next week. But this guy, his CEO, oh, he got fired. Pew, off with his head. <laughs> He's gone. And then to round this story out, this young lady right here, y'all seen her in the Marvel stories. She's married to my man right there. They're pregnant. After four seasons, they just got married last episode, and just this past episode, they are pregnant. And that is your roundtable reunion on what happened on The Resident. Y'all missing out. Damn, y'all. <laughs> that, that is a great, great storyline, and y'all are missing out. If you guys aren't watching The Resident, it comes on Fox every Tuesday at 8 o'clock.